Hey everyone and welcome to our first video collaborating with International Center of Arts and Technology. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Beardney Spears and my pronouns are he, she, they. I'm a gender fluid drag artist. Now when I'm out of drag, I'm an entrepreneur and business analyst. So I have both backgrounds of arts and a little bit of a business background. So on today's video, I want to share with you something that me and my best friend used to do when we didn't have access to wigs. So a little bit about me, um, I was a refugee for almost four years. Uh, I had to flee my country because I wasn't able to be who I was and it was criminalized to be, um, like to, to love a same-sex person. So in the country that we were refugee, we didn't have a lot of money, we didn't have a lot of resources, but we made the best out of it and we used a very uh, cheap, unconventional unconventional i don't know that word english is my fourth language so we used a lot of um unconventional what is that word we used a lot of um not convenient so being a refugee in a small town with having absolute no access to a lot of fun wigs and colorful styles we had to improvise. So me and my best friend, we used to make our own wigs out of um, gift ribbons. Yes. So we didn't have access to, a, to anything like that. So we used to make wigs and then we used to um, lip sync and dance to a song and like just have fun and make the best out of what we had. So on today's video, I'm going to recreate one of the wigs that we used to make together. Um, so shout out to that person. That person is still a refugee in another country. I went to dollar store and I purchased a very cheap, well, it's a dollar store. <laughs> I purchased a very um, few things which I wanna share with you. So firstly, I bought three ribbons, two of them, or like a matte, let's, let's see if we can see it. It's like a matte, um, like a bright pink type of a color. And that's, so that's gonna be the actual hair. And I thought that I'd do some highlights and this is like a glossy pink, which um, it has a sort of like a, so this is the glossy pink and it has a sort of, like a rainbow effect to it i think i haven't opened these so i bought all you need three ribbons of your color choice whichever you want and i bought these um jewel borders i'm still undecisive whether to use it on the wig or for the makeup or both so you will see at the end of this video <laughs> for sure and the next thing you will need is a pair of scissors and the next thing you will need is duct tape so this is going to be your head cap or your base cap and um, it's going to be what holds the whole wig basically so without further ado a few moments later you can either do it on your own head or if you have like a mannequin head or like a wig holder wig type of a thing you can do it on this as well so it's up to you but because i'm demonstrating so i'm going to use this wig so here i have a foam um head i don't know if they sell it in dollar store but it is really easy to get very cheap but if you cannot get it or don't want to get it it's okay too you can do it on your own head as well. Now, a lot of people choose to um, cut these individually and then stick them, but I'm gonna do it as I go and show you how you can um, quickly and easily do it. This is the most important part of making this wig. Now, first I'm gonna get rid of these uh, labels here. So I'm gonna cut it with the scissor and kind of hold on to it with the scissor. So, 
a few inches later. So what you want to do is you want to have the sticky part to stick out and you kind of go as if it's sticking. So I'm gonna go and keep the head and then this outer sticky part is gonna make this two stick together. And then you cut it off and now you have an outer layer that is sticky and it fits the head. So I'm gonna go a few more times. Now I'm gonna go a little bit above it and it'll stick easily because this sticky part is sticking out. And again, this is the sticky part out and the not sticky underneath. So I'm gonna go again. Now I'm gonna go from the tip of the head to the back, cover all the um, exposed parts and making sure that I don't leave a gap. But even if you do, it's fine. So I'm gonna go back like this. And then once the back gets stuck to the sticky side, you cut it. Now you have to be careful because your scissor will get stuck to the duct tape and it might come off easily. So I'm gonna go back in, trying to touch it a little bit, make it look nicer. Now I'm gonna do a few more of these on the top so that the whole surface is covered. So this is basically ready to, um, to have the hair on. Now, you wanna make sure you understand how human hair works, because I don't. So what you wanna do is you want to have, maybe we wanna have like a bang, is that what it's called, like a hair bang? We're gonna have like a type of a hair bang, like a heart front type of a way, and then go like this to the back. So, now we're gonna start with the ribbons. Now that the wig is easily stockable, like the head cap that we just created can literally hold the wig, so, or hold the ribbons, now I'm gonna go in and um, put individual ribbons so that it will look like a hair. Now the more you do this, the more of ribbons you put on, the more it's gonna look like real human hair. So I'm gonna start from here. And as you can see, I'm trying to create a realistic one, so I'll just put it down see it already got stuck and then you depending on how long you want the wig you go and then you cut and then you do it again and you do this so many times <laughs> until it looks like hair so I'm just gonna continue you don't have to be very precise or super um, you know super proper as long as you know it's stuck you just go down and you cut just to show you you see the length it's fine as long as it's around that length we're good I'm going to continue this and then I'll be back and show y'all how the whole half will look like once you keep doing it. One eternity later. All right, so after a little while, you can see as you spend more time with it, I created like just half of the side. And this might seem a little thin, and also in the middle of the head, in the middle of the head, as you can see, I left the gap. So it's a little bit shiny here, but I left a little bit of gap because normally a human's hair starts from the middle because this gap, I'm gonna stick more strings on top so it will look fuller. It will be more fluffier. 
So I'm going to show you what I mean. Now, on top of the already existing ribbons, I'm just going to go a little bit higher and then attach the tip of this one. So this will give it more volume and it will look, it will look much nicer. So I'm going to do one more, just a little bit top of it. As you can see, we used to put this on our knee and do it, which um, gives you more control. So if you don't have a headphone, use your knees because for some reason your knee fits is the same size as your head, I think, because in our case it was. <laughs> So see, as I'm going on top of that layer, it already looks much, much fuller, like on this side. So I'm going to do this a few more times until I'm satisfied with um, the volume it has. So now I went two layers on top of um, that first layer that we laid down. Once you reach the middle, um, you might not be satisfied with the volume it has. It's fine. I'm going to show you how you can add more layers on top of this while securing the ones that you've already layered. So what you want to do, you grab the duct tape, Cut it. Now this is the difficult part. So what you want to do, you want to flip one side like this and the other side like this. So it becomes like a double sided duct tape. So now it's double sided and I'm going to go on top of all the things that I layered, press it and cut the axis off. And now I've created the layer, and I can save this for another one, for the other side. Now I can stick even more of these and make it more, you know, full. So I'm gonna go like this. So I'm gonna do this. It, it does take some time. So make sure you um, put aside two to three hours because. <laughs> You know, this does take time, but at the, the end, the result is pretty, I think, interesting. So, <laughs> stay tuned while I finish completely the side. Once I do these two layers, I'm going to move to the next side, and then I'm going to show you what I do for the front and the back. So, we'll be right back. So, after two hours, <laughs> You see that I got many, many of these ribbons on and luckily I didn't run out. I still have some left. But for the front, as I mentioned, we're going to have the highlighted ones, which are these. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a few more strings of these highlighted ones as shown here. We zoom out a little bit, as shown here, and then I will give the wig a cut. Now, I'm going to give the front face a cut. What I'm going to do is because when I wear this wig, I want people to see my face. So I'm gonna grab the scissor and do like a angle cut like this. Oh, did you see that? And then I'm gonna do an angle cut on the other side as well. 
and it kind of gave it a bang style. As you can see, this is very like all tied up together. Now what you want to do, when, if you want to like straighten it and then give it a little bit of curl, you grab the scissor, you open it up and you hold it like this. Okay, see how I'm holding it? I'm not touching the... I'm not touching the edge that it's sharp. I'm just holding it like this. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab a small section of the hair. And you want to be very gentle because the duct tape that we used um, might not be as strong as we might think it is. So I grab this much of it and I just brush it with the scissor as if it's a hair. So I'm going to go on top and use my thumb, as you can see, and then secure it and then go all the way down. And that's going to straighten it a little bit. So the more you do it, or the more sections you do, the better it'll look like. So, see that? So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut it a little bit short so that it looks even. Now, I think this is a good angle to show. Again, as we cut the fronts, we want to kind of give it a motion. So go in like this. So here's the final cut and the final result, but we got one more thing to do. We're going to add these crystal um, table things we got from Dollar Store right here and make it even more pop. It's going to look even more beautiful. So these usually come with a sticky sign, so you don't have to um, work too hard to stick them. So they should be very smooth and easy to work with. You can use your hands. I'm gonna go from the very top and add these to the front. So here we are. It's finished. I stoned the front. I put some stones up here and I did a little bit of stoning in the back. I'm not sure if it's showing. I'm going to um, show it in a different angle. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get into full drag and wear this and show you how it looks like when you have makeup on and you wear an outfit so I will be right back and these are all the hairs that we cut and here's our lovely wig so Thank you all so much for coming with this journey. And if you add some wind effect, it'll give you the full hair fantasy. <laughs> so what I did with the makeup, I did a very beautiful pink makeup and I incorporated 
some of these stones into my eye makeup and I'm going to show you an up close look of how it looks. So thank you all so much for watching this tutorial and as I said if you add more ribbons it will give you more volume and more movement you can have it long short however length you like at the end and you can like cut it as you like thank you so much for having me and I really hope to see you all again so have a lovely day until next time bye bye